guys this is a soup my wife made it's a chicken broth soup if you're interested in um, seeing how she did it stay tuned on the video and be blessed and I'll see you on the next one I just want to take this uh, time out to say um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and wishing my um, baby girl Elisa happy birthday happy birthday sweetie and also uh, Nicole uh, has her wisdom uh, tooth taken out and this is a pre-recorded video She got a wisdom tea take out. Mm -hmm. It's got it got affected. And you see it's gonna show y'all how I make my soup. And I'm gonna show you how I make her soup. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, it's good. So I won't get none of my mom and my I'm gonna I got four stitches. She got four stitches. Mm-hmm. So we'll see y'all on next Sunday. We'll see y'all next Sunday. Bye. Be blessed. Okay, today, guys, I am making chicken soup because I am getting my teeth fixed. So it is in. It's I got. Oh, it's painting. <laughs> so we're making chicken soup with this here black pepper all purpose seasoning this the chicken booyah I put two of them in there got a powder they can't help it they here with me today so you gonna hear them in the background and some salt so yeah we're just making chicken soup so I can get the broth off the chicken and a little, uh, little onion and a little bell pepper so let's get into this so I'm just going to season up this chicken put a little oil on it and then kind of pre-fry it and then put that water on there because I need all the broth I can get because I got an inflamed wisdom tooth in the back so I'm going to try to go get that took out and then he's fixing a molar at the top. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Make some soup, you guys. We'll be back in a minute. So this is the meat season. And I'm going to turn it on. And just put a little oil down in there. Kind of let it pre-fry while the oil. I put a little oil down in there. And we're going to let it pre-fry so I'll be back when I'm putting the onion, bell peppers, and the fish for medley things in there. And the chicken bouillon in there. So I'm just putting two of these in there, two chicken bouillons. This stuff, this is just so I won't have the bites in it. This a little side way to get away with stuff. And then I'm going to put some onions in here and bell up like I said. We'll be good when I do this. Okay, I'll just put the onion and the bell pepper in here. Wow, this is cooking. Um, why is this chicken a little bit? Raising the chicken, and then I'm gonna put 
after I get the chicken a little bit browner. I'm going to put that in the, uh, the vegetable pack in here. And yeah. Put the bouillon and cheese in there and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. <coughs> so I can have some broth. Well, I'll be back up. I let this ch chicken uh, braise a little bit. So this is how the chicken is looking braised. It's not completely like braised. Like I would like it so I'm going to put this on the, the top on there and I'm going to let it cook through. And then we're going to pour all this water and these vegetables in here. So yeah, let's let it cook to cool for about 5 or 10 minutes and then we're going to let it cook through for about 5 or 10 minutes and then we're going to put our water and our vegetables and our chicken bouillon in there so I can have me some good old stock for like 2 or 3 days. Okay. Okay, now it's time to pick. Everything in. I'm going to put that with. Get there. And I'm going to put, put these chicken bouillons in there. And then we're going to put some water. And then, like everybody says, we're going to set it and forget it. So, yeah. This is the chicken and I chew let me let you see when I open it. Oh, it's still on high enough. That's the chicken bouillon cube there. So we're just going to take it and put it in there. We're going to take two of them. So I got to put that out there. Right now, I hope you can hear me and you're looking at the side of my pie. I'm so sorry about that, but I had to take my other chicken bouillon cube. That's how I love it. And put it. Then I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to take about four or five of these. make it look like that and then you just cool the pack and you forget it for like an hour or two come back you got soup okay there go the chicken bumbling and bumbling so it's already falling apart give about another five or ten minutes and it'll be ready to eat Okay, here's how the soup turned out. The water evaporated a lot. It is so good, you guys. So, yes. That's the end of that. 
we are enjoying the soup okay you guys on the dot advisory i do not supposed to eat cornbread crackers or anything else that will stick to my teeth so that's for that is why you are seeing just this soup i would love to have cornbread in there i could barely eat that chicken so my husband is enjoying the chicken be blessed you guys and yes we will see you on the next one i hope you enjoyed this video Birthday is <laughs> sun.